For our last story, we have to turn to Matthew chapter 14. In the last three verses, 34, 35, and 36. Now, before, as you're turning there, Matthew 14, 34, 5, and 6. Remember, in different translations, it says it differently, but the NAS says she touched the fringe of his garment. Okay. okay. When, they, when they had crossed over, they came to the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place recognized him, they sent word into all the surrounding district and brought to him all who were sick. And they implored him that he might touch the fringe of his cloak, and as many as touched it were cured. Do you see it? If they didn't, you know, let me back up. The, norm, the most common way Jesus healed was by command, commanding the body to do something. Declaration or telling somebody to do something was an act of obedience or the laying on of his hands. Those were the most, the normal way Jesus healed. This is the exception. But they don't ask. When they, they went out and found all the sick and brought them, and it says they implored him. I like NIV here better. They begged him to just let the people, it doesn't say, just let them touch you. No, it goes to that detail. Just let them touch the fringe of your cloak. Why so specific? Why do you say, Lord Jesus, touch them? No, no, they didn't say that. Oh, let them touch you. Just speak your word. No, it's more specific. We beg you, Jesus, let these people touch the fringe of your cloak. Why? Because they'd heard the story of the woman who had touched the fringe of his cloak and had been healed. And that faith that they had for the whole, all the sick of a whole region to be healed was connected to that story. It's time the rest of the church learned what God has already taught you, the power of the testimony.